where in fact Gillian Jules contested three finals in each of those Commonwealth Games. the women's doubles gold medal match. The number one against the number two seeds. What an opening rally. Oh, that's a fabulous opening rally. That's how the match is going to go. We are in for a treat here. Absolutely crazy first rally. Well, these two pairs have played each other once previously. That was in last year's Sudaman Cup, the World Mixed Team Championships in Vonta in Finland. And it was the English pair that won in three games, 21-10 in the deciding game. But perhaps it's not just the previous match between these two pairs that we need to take into consideration. The number of matches that Lauren Smith has played over 11 days, the 15th match she personally has played. And I think we also need to take into account that I think that this Malaysian women's doubles pair is probably the most improved pair on the world tour. Uh, against that, you have the English pair who haven't played together for eight months in individual competition. That could play a factor, do you think, Chris? Yeah, I'd definitely say that too. Although the rankings, you know, they're really close to each other and the English girls beat them last time they played, I would agree with you in regards to ladies' doubles. The Malaysians, for me, are definitely one of the most improved pairs. I'd probably put them at, you know, one or two out of all the pairs in the world over the last 18 months that have improved the most in ladies' doubles. Um, and as you said, a big factor. The English girls have got better every single round, but it's because... They haven't played together for, I think it's about nine months, and they're almost getting back into their groove. Yeah. Just the big obstacle, as you said before, is the fatigue for Lauren. No, she's a very fit athlete. But the accumulation of tiredness, that is an absolute beauty from Pearly Tan. The disguise drop shot played with a cute angle. She goes down the line, first of all, Look where that shuttle landed. It was way in front of the double service line, the front line. That's an amazing drop shot. She's a highly, highly gifted player. Yes, and delightful to watch because she comes up with shots that most other players don't even think of trying to play, let alone have the technique to be able to play them. So it's been quite a tough start for the English girls just because the Malaysians, you know, the level they're playing at, just the neck cord off a, off a shot and it's so hard because the shuttle's turning and spinning as the English girls are trying to lift that out. She's almost telling herself, just calm down. Like, she's got so much magic, but you don't want to get too carried away. She's forced that, and then in the end, quite a simple mistake.
no. The big jump smash from Pearly Tan. Well, she's the decisive player at the moment in these very early Six. stages. But Chris, One. I mean, it's been quite obvious uh, from these early stages that the Malaysians are wanting to get on the attack. How do the English pair neutralise that? The difficult thing is, to be honest, the English girls are getting the attack as well. It's just when the English girls are getting the attack, they don't have that special variation. They don't have that e extra something to be able to really hurt the Malaysians. I feel the Malaysians look so comfortable in defence. Forced to defend again. Now they have an opportunity. Oh my goodness me! Well, no wonder she gets the thumbs up from her partner. At the moment, though, to get to try and put this into kind of simpler context, Pearly Tan is, you know, she's playing a 12 out of 10. She's on fire. She's so calm. She's so relaxed. She's got all the variation in the world. I mean, she's unplayable at the moment. Well, the Malaysians couldn't have dreamt of a better start than this. <laughs> yeah. Well, all started with an excellent backhand smash from this lady, Chloe Birch. And then that smash from Lauren, it was actually a bit flatter than they expected the Malaysians, but the placement, it caused a miss hit, and then they managed to get through. It's just that bit of surprise. Oh, look at that. That's another top spin. This time on the return of serve, creating the deception. To have, to have the audacity and belief in yourself and confidence to play that in the final of the Commonwealth Games. Yeah. It's amazing. Their first Commonwealth Games, the Malaysians. Lauren Smith hits a third Commonwealth Games. Kelly Birch, her second. And now for the English girls, it's going to feel like, what do we do? Because even when they're in the rallies, there's just brilliance from the Malaysians. in between the two English players. And when you haven't played together for eight or nine months, that's a vulnerable place. You're unsure who's going for that one, who should take it. 11-2, well, the advantage at mid-game interval here in the opening game in favor of the Malaysian pair of Curly Tan and Tina Mora-Lithova. Well, I very much agree with the coaching there of Julian Robertson. Variety from the back of the court and some softer shots from the front. Don't try and play at the pace of your opponents. I agree. Well, that was the right idea. Wrong execution. Jen. 
And what you often find that happens in a situation, when you feel that your opponents are on cloud nine and they're playing incredible, you think the only way you can challenge them is almost by forcing it. You've got to play even better than they're playing, and that's where more mistakes often come. And unforced errors like this, because Lauren's feeling that well, I can't do anything. They're just playing so good, I have to win the point. But if they do a great serve, you can't win the point off it. Body language of Lauren Smith. Well, after the error was concerning, but then pulled herself together and said, All right, come on. Now, this is a phenomenal start by Tan and Laura Mithoran. The way the Malaysians are playing right now, it you know it doesn't get any better. They are, you know, doing everything absolutely perfect. Good serve. Just on that shot before from Lauren, she's just forced it. She's stepped in, but she's played it that little bit too flat. So it's easy. It's easy for Tina to kind of jump around the head and be very dangerous. Well, that young man's been at every single session, I think, here at the badminton. I'll definitely give him fan of the tournament. He, he, <laughs> he has been the noisiest person in the hall for, the, I think, the, yeah, the last two weeks. That's a beautiful block. Incredible. Now between the legs. I mean, this is unbelievable from the Malaysians again. Did the Malaysians win that rally? Yeah, right now, I think, I don't even know. You, they could probably make it rain in here. They can do anything they want. Well, I can only imagine the frustration for Lauren Smith at the moment. I mean, she's guaranteed a seventh Commonwealth Games medal after this match no, she's still looking for the elusive gold yeah. pouncing on everything complex thing is as well the malaysians are looking you know, their confidence is out the building, it's that big. You know, they're, they're so confident they're doing anything they want. And the English girls can't stop that because they can't win points. Yeah, brilliant. You know, the English girls, they're trying everything. They're trying every possibility, but nothing is working right now. Yeah, that was a softer shot that had been advised by coach Julian Robertson. But look at the reactions of Tina Muradetharan. Oops. Well, neither of them covering that, and it went wrong. That's very unfortunate. You know, that Malaysian oh. pair. It almost sums it up in regards to Chloe played the right shot. The Malaysians, you know, neither of them anticipated it very well, and it goes out by a few inches. It kind of almost sums up the first game, yeah. as it were. That's gone wide, and it's game point opportunities for Pearly Tan and Tina Mura-Lutheran. We've only had 15 minutes of play so far. 20, game point four. Well, this open game, I think, is a foregone conclusion in favour of the Malaysians, but I do think if the English pair can just battle for two or three rallies 
give themselves a bit more confidence before the start of the second game. That will help them, but it's not to be. 21-5, the opening game for Pearlie Tan and Tina Moralitara. Umpire just confirming that score, 21-5 in 15 minutes. Yeah. Devastatingly good dive. What an amazing pair. Well, it was a devastatingly good performance in the opening game by Pearly Tan and Tina Moralifaran. 21-5 in just 15 minutes. And very, a very interesting that the England coach, Julian Robertson, identifying what I think both you and I had identified, Chris, and that's the need for the English pair, and especially Lauren Smith, to control her emotions. Yeah, it's a big challenge out there because, you know, it's going to feel like a, a nightmare, as it were, but it's, it's not. And this is where you have to get your head around it. You've got to accept the Malaysians are playing incredible. Can they sustain this for this whole game? I don't know, but the English have to believe that they can't. She's missed one. She's human after all, Pearly Tan. She's only an 11.5 out of 10. Oh, service by called. Too hard. And this is. Lauren Smith. And this is where you just feel it. It, it feels like the world's against you. Everything. Two almost could One. be is going wrong your opponents are playing incredible you're missing a few shots you didn't miss before you've got loads of fatigue in you then you get service forward it just feels like the world's against you and that i think is what julian was referring to about control your emotions and and not only do you feel everything is against you for lauren smith you know that dream uh, i mean she's uh, going to be 31 next month uh, this is quite possibly her last Commonwealth Games. We hope it, it isn't, but it might well be. You know, it's a, a guaranteed seventh medal, but she's never won the gold. And she so wants that gold. Oh, my goodness, behind the back from Tina. And that's going to go long. Yeah. Four, I mean... It's like they're trying to better each other. It's I've just said Pearlie's a you know, 12 out of 10, and Tina's like, well, what about me? She's yeah. a 12 out of 10 as well. I mean, the way they're playing. Oh, that was going to go wide, you know.
nice block. Yeah, clever, clever play by Pearlie Tan. The disguise drop shot to the centre of the court. Where Chloe Birch had to move forward and then the smash across her body. That's wonderful awareness from Pearly Tan. This is why it's so hard to contend with, with Pearly because she's got everything at the moment. You know, she's got the power, she's got the placement, she's got the deception, she's got the variation. Good fighting spirit by the English combination. This is what the English girls have got to try and do, but obviously it's not easy. They've got to try and put some doubt in the minds of the Malaysian players that hold on a sec. Maybe they will make mistakes, maybe they will play the wrong shot. determined walk from Chloe Birch. Yeah, they're getting back a bit of the belief. And there's two mistakes in a row there from the Malaysians. We did not see that at any point in the first game. Apologises for hitting her opponent. It's that fine line there for Chloe. She's, she's not being passive, she's taking it on. She's just forcing it. It's a bit obvious. And then it's read by Pearlie and put away very, very emphatically. Yeah, she was just trying to find the mid-court area, getting it past Pearlie Tan. But as you say, there wasn't enough pace on it to achieve that goal. Trying to be a little too clever there, Pearly Tan. And I wonder if the Malaysian bubble has burst. But for the first time now, now we've seen something different. Now we've seen this creative um, play almost too much there. She's overdone it. And I do feel that could be possibly an important point for England. Drop shot again from Pearlie Town. Seven, four. Yeah, it's just lovely variation. She's got every shot from the back. She's got the stop job, the big smash, the slice, the placement. Just that she can control it all. shot from Maura Lipperman. It's not only the technique to be able to play that shot, it's the vision to see that's where the gap is. Yeah, and the placement and being calm enough and everything. She played it to perfection. out wider. Nine, oh, my goodness. Five. Tina Moore, a little handle sharp there. Look at that. Rack it up, ready. 
takes the pace out of the shot. And that shuttle does get past the front court player and land in front of the rear court player. That's a perfect shot for doubles. Takes it off the top of the tape. Mora Litharan. Yeah, incredibly sharp on that because that was not loose. See this on a replay. That's okay. Maybe it's a bit loose than I first thought, but still, she's on it so quick. Return. Just wide. And it is the number one seeds, Pearly Tan and Tina Moro-Litheran, who have the advantage, a six-point advantage here in the second game, having already taken the first. Yeah, when you really like lift it, just make sure we step up very too much back really quick. Just keep some really bad little step forward. Right? The only time we need to counter is when we've got a really off balance and we see the net player coming over. Then we need to go into another corner. Yeah, but the first way is we need to invest in getting them out, especially Pearly. Yeah, we just showed there that like, she wants to break when we work the hard, when the rallies are hard. Yeah. Sometimes on, also on the returns, we're not always trying to win the return. Double lift if we need to, start your bench, but be ready. Yeah. We have got to keep switching things up. Yeah. Okay. Come on. So it's a handsome lead for the Malaysian pair. Six point advantage. Make that seven point advantage. You just feel like nothing's going the way of the English girls. You know, when the shuttle gets close to the net and maybe it's going to be a net cord, I feel like almost every time it's going to land on the English side. Yeah, well, that's a good smash from Lauren Smith. See Pearly after almost every rally that the Malaysians lose, she's just saying, keep calm. She's got to keep a clear head because she's got so many shots she can play. She has to be calm in her shot selection. Oh, gaining no advantage with the flip serve there. Oh, the only interruption to Malaysian dominance in the women's doubles discipline over the last five games was in 2010 when the Indian pair on home soil in Delhi of Juala Gutta and Ashwini Ponapa took gold apart from that it's been Malaysia's gold all the way In fact, the last gold for an English pair in the women's doubles was 24 years ago in Kuala Lumpur in 1998. Joe Good and Donna Kellogg won the gold on that occasion. Bounces off the top of the tape. so hard to stop this run because the English girls they can be consistent and they can rally but then they're too obvious they're too simple and the Malaysians are reading it and then just dominating but then when they take a risk they're making the mistakes Brilliant. A moment of magic from Chloe Birch. Yeah, fantastic there from Chloe. Best rally from the English girls so far in the match. Brilliant shot. Oh, 
Good return of serve. Yeah. Perfect return of serve, in fact, from Tina Wara Lukaran. This is the problem for the English girls. As I just said, I honestly think that rally before was the best one they played in the match, and then the Malaysians go, okay, it's like we'll just get a net cord. Yeah, and a wonderful jump smash too. the Malaysian pair and the way they've played so far in today's final. Well, we know that they challenge the very best players and pairs in the world, the Malaysians, and they've demonstrated today why that is the case. I do feel that start in the first game, they came out like incredible. And they could have, if it had been an edgy start, you just think nerves could have maybe played a part. But the way they've played, I mean, nerves, they can't play a part at all. They've just been so amazing. That's just long. And it's gold medal points for Malaysia. Well judged. This time. So it's over. Eight, 20. English pair trying to make the scoreline a little more respectable. Yeah. And that's yeah. it. Pearly Tan and Tina Moralitharan of Malaysia win gold. A third consecutive gold for Malaysian pairs in the women's doubles discipline at the Commonwealth Games. Absolutely overwhelming the English pair of Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith. Ampard just confirming the scoreline of 21-5, 21-8. A match lasting only 33 minutes. Well, Rexy Manaki, the Malaysian head coach, delights in the gold medal in the women's doubles. Team gold and the first individual gold for Malaysia at these Commonwealth Games. Full credit there to the Malaysian girls. What an incredible performance they both put on. I mean, they were, from start of the match to the finish, absolutely unbelievable. They did everything right, tactically, creative, no mistakes. Unbelievable. Really, really incredible performance. Yeah, it certainly was. Confirmation of that scoreline, 21-5, 21-8. And Pearly Tan and Tina Moro-Litharan take the gold medal in the women's doubles discipline. I would say I know the English girls won't feel it, but they should be proud of themselves. As me and Jill have said throughout the commentary, they haven't been playing together for the last eight or nine months, and Lauren hasn't been playing ladies' doubles at all. So to get a silver here, this is an impressive result. And I think for Lauren Smith, the fact that she's only become the second player in the history of badminton at the Commonwealth Games to contest the two doubles disciplines, uh, whether it's the men's doubles and the mixed doubles or the women's doubles and the mixed doubles, at two consecutive games after such a long period of time, 48 years since that was last achieved. I think Lauren Smith should take huge pride in what she has achieved. But of course, that's difficult at the moment. It's a fifth silver medal of her seven medals now at Commonwealth Games, her third Commonwealth Games. Uh, look at the delight at the victory by the Malaysians. Well, 
Malaysia celebrate the women's doubles, but overall, Chris, uh, England's performance, uh, for the first time ever, they didn't medal in the mixed team competition. Uh, they've had three finalists today, which I think is a good performance. They weren't expected to win the men's doubles or the women's doubles, but of course, Marcus and Lauren were a higher seed in the mixed doubles final. Overall, how do you rate England's performance? You know, no one wanted that. You know, none of the English players would have wanted that. They came here for a medal 100%. And I think it's tough out there because the Asian dominance in the sport is so extreme at the moment that it's hard for any of the European nations to compete. Of course, the six medalists. It was a phenomenal display put up by Curly Tan and Tina Muritharan. Just way too good for the English pair on the day. The medals will be presented by Geraldine Brown, Vice President of the Badminton World Federation. And the gifts presenter will be Mohamed Norza Zakaria, President of the Commonwealth Games Association of Malaysia and President of the Badminton Association of Malaysia. Well, he's going to enjoy the ceremony. Now, your bronze medal winners from India. Teresa Jolly and Gayatri Pulela, who took care of Wendy Chen and Gronya Somerville yesterday. 21-15, 21-18 in 50 minutes on court. They were much the more proactive of the two pairs. Teresa Jolly and Gayatri. And they're both just 19 years of age. A very bright future lies ahead for both these women, you would imagine. And your silver medal winners from England. Well, Chloe Birch and Laurel Smith, Smith and Gang just can't get that elusive gold medal. She's got a cluster of silvers. It's Chloe Birch. Had one earlier, of course, in the mixed doubles. Uh, Lauren with Marcus Ellis. And Lauren Smith. Silver to go with the European Championship silver they won last year. who add the gold medal in the women's doubles to the mixed team gold they won a few days ago justifying their number one seeding you have to think that their world ranking of 11 is only going one way potentially absolutely devastating performance in this final them pretty well. And now for those stand who by to, for the anthem. Please stand for the anthem of Malaysia.
Well, that was a, a rousing rendition. A lot of the crowd joining in as well as the gold medalists. And now we uh, stand by for the customary photos and just the recap on the medalists in the women's doubles. I certainly think that the two 19-year-old uh, Indians have a very, very bright future in this particular discipline of badminton. And I think when Laurel Smith reflects on this event, she'll probably come to the conclusion that two silver medals isn't a bad haul. First time, of course, that England didn't medal in the mixed team event. But they did get to three finals on our concluding day of badminton coverage here in Birmingham. been a terrific event for Malaysia because of course they took home the mixed team gold.